Hi, today I'm doing a demonstration about a minimum viable product. This product is a mobile application called Destinations. It's used for booking flights, hotels, and car rentals. This is the main page that we see when we first open the application. On the top left, we see that menu button. If we click it, we are taken to this menu page. We can navigate back to the main page. We can log in, we can register, we can manage the profile. We can find information about the business and we can find information about how to contact the business. So let's register for a new user. We click on register. We fill in the information for the new user and submit. Now we go back to the, to the previous page and log in. We click on that field. A keyboard will pop up. We enter the information and then we submit. Now we are taken back to the first page but now we are logged in. So let's try to book for a flight. We click on flight. We want to book a flight that's one way departing from Los Angeles arriving at Seattle and we want that to be on the 13th of May. For one adult passenger on an economy class and we want that to be a non-stop flight so we click on non-stop now we search for the flight this is the results page we see the currency to be in euros I want to change that to be in U United States dollar so we click on that button we click on the United States flag we see the currency has changed to USD so for the first flight I want to read some flight details I click on flight details, see the detailed information. I want this flight, so I choose it. On this page, I fill in my information, but since I'm logged in, the information is pre filled. So I click on continue. This is the payments page, which is the payment summary about how much I'm going to pay for this flight. I accept the rules and pay using the, the default payment method saved on file. Let's go back to the main page and try to book for a hotel. We click on hotel. I want to book for a hotel in New York from the 25th of May until the 26th of May in a hotel that's at least 4 stars. I want to book one room for one adult guest. I search. I see the results in this page. So let's say I want to pick the first hotel. I click on the first hotel. On this page, I see detailed information about the, the hotel, where it's located. I can see photos of the hotel, further information, and see where it's located in the map. I click on the map, see the map. I like the location. I go back, select the room type, let's say we want to select the first room type. On this page, it, uh, we see information about our reservation, we fill in the information and pay using the default payment method. Let's go back to the main page. Now let's try booking for a car. We want to pick the car from New York on the 25th of May and drop it off at the 26th of May from 11 a.m. until 11 a.m. the next day. If we toggle on this button, it w it w we will drop the car at the same location, but we if we toggle it off, it will give us the option to drop it off at another location, so we have to choose another drop-off location. Let's say I want to drop it off at the same location. We search. On this page we see the results. But before choosing a car, I want to filter out the results. So I click on filter. I'm taken to this page where I have some filtering categories. Each category will narrow the results. So I want to apply the filters. Click on apply the filters. Let's go back to the, the previous page. I choose this car. I see detailed information about the car and the rental agency location 
and if I want to see a map I click, I click on this button here I see the, lo the location of the rental agency and the address click on back book this car fill in the information continue this is a summary page so when I'm picking the car when I'm dropping it off if I have uh, payment de uh, details if not I click on that credit card and enter the uh, payment details and then I have the summary about how much I'm going to pay book this now it will book the car now I want to show you a feature that's in our application which is the reminder feature this reminder will give you a pop-up notification about if you have a hotel reservation or if you have a flight or if you have a car rental so a pop-up notification will show on the top of the screen it gives us a notification about when my next flight is going to be it says it's in 24 hours and of course this is customizable I can change the time to be like 20 hours 36 hours or any time I want it to be I want to view the reminder details I click on view here I see the detailed reminder information it says I have an upcoming flight on the 13th of May 7 10 p.m. Delta Airlines that's flight number 2488 departing from Los Angeles to Seattle Airport click on done that's it that was the demonstration for our product destinations thank you